What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are continuing on our Just Video Walls series. We're down here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We got a 32 by 9 screen. Have you ever seen anything like this? Probably not, but you're probably interested and wanna learn more. That's what we're doing out here, guys, is we're educating our customer base on every single consideration, really, that you need to think about when looking into video walls and really taking a deep dive into use cases as well. So today, we're gonna be discussing, can you use micro LED technology out Doors. Well, guys, I'm going to be bringing on our national sales director, Kellen, as well as Skylar from Just Video Walls, and they're just going to open up some dialogue, talk about the different ways that you can utilize it, as well as the technologies that are necessary in order to accomplish the installation outdoors. Keep in mind that Dream Media is a custom integration company that is nationwide, guys. We really take a deep dive into every single element and consider all different materials, as well as coordinate with your contractors and your builder uh, to orchestrate this project management in an easy to deploy fashion. All right, guys, well, let's get into this video. All right, Skylar, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be talking use cases, technologies for indoor, but mm -hmm. also outdoor. There are two realms of existence in where you can place an image and that's indoors and outdoors. So for, for you, Kellen, like what we offer you is, you know, the question of, is your application climate controlled or not? Because indoor outdoor doesn't answer the full like brevity of what it is that we need to know in order to get you the right system. That's an area where things can go drastically wrong is if for some reason you get the wrong IP rating or you don't have the right, you know, type of technology on your pixel and you just have to know where all those landmines are or work with a company like just video walls that simplifies all that down to ensure that you know, you have the right display for your environment. That, that's another solid core reason that we would like to move forward and, and are moving forward with you guys is, you know, I'm not having to jump through two different, three different reps that have to go ask their rep or their higher up to, you know, what's the right answer here? What's this, what's that? And whenever you're working with a customer that is trying to get things rolling and it's, uh, now nah, let's just put a two, three week roadblock in there because I'm waiting on a quote. You know, right. That, that's one thing that you guys, because you do just video walls, I can call you and pretty much get an answer immediately. That's exactly what we experienced when we, as an integration side, you know, when we were doing that was how do we like answer those questions? And sometimes it was two weeks before we'd get a response back or just get a drawing or just price, just getting price point and trying to figure all that out. It's like, okay, by that time, the customer's cold. Like, you know, it's so it's a problem. Yeah. The real problem there is actually like, what happens if we don't put the right thing in? Because a lot of times we're just offered products. Yeah. Right. It's like, hey, here's SKU X1000. Here's SKU like blah, 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 blah. Like just 20 of them. And it's like, well, pick the one that you think is right. It's like, well, like, I don't know which one's right. Or, so I'm asking or, you. or worse, <laughs> like, worse is possibly even like, I don't have the time yeah. to, to go in for three weeks and design this all out. So what we're doing is providing Dream Media with an exclusive tool that we've developed that basically takes this process and distills it all down into the right way to do micro LED regardless of the application. So when we're talking about an outdoor wall, like this one is here, or an indoor wall, like you know with 100% certainty that what Dream Media is gonna put into your home, what you're gonna put into your customer's home, Kellen, is the right wall every time and it, they're gonna love it. And that's something that you don't have certainty with with any other option out there today. And so going back off of that is, you know, answering the core question is, these can be used outside. Correct, uh, yeah. So what are, you know, some of the things like, um, you know, we're, we're in a, you know, salty 
um, climate mm -hmm. here on the coast of Florida? Um, how would that be different from maybe a you know mountain home in the Poconos or yep. uh, kind of a dry heat out in, in Vegas? Is there different technologies that you would choose based on on those aspects, or is it kind of a one size fits all? I, think there, you know, I know the answer. But. Yeah, <laughs> there there is very much at the very core, like this panel. I'll lift it up. You can see it's a it's a very beefy panel, um, and there's a lot of like you know, fully enclosed electronics in this panel, which is not the same as what you see over here. Like there's exposed power hubs, there's exposed networking boards, receiving cards, you know, that kind of thing. So at the very base is you have to make sure that this is right. It's not just climate controlled or not climate controlled. Like there's two levels of climate control. There's not climate controlled, but you put it in a garage. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's still ex more exposed than something that is climate control, because right. let's say you've got condensation that comes in in the morning and all of a sudden, like you've got the wrong panel. You you talked about one, which is having one that's kind of on a coastal area, right? Or even on a cruise ship. What about the salt that can get in there? So, you know, we have to do a, a coating on the entire system to protect against that and make sure that this is going to be the right system. For, you, for your environment. But that it really speaks to, in the in the application realm of micro LED, the versatility of what, what it is that we're talking about here. Because it's the same core technology, little tiny LEDs that turn on and off and produce red, green, and blue light to make an image like what you see behind us. But you can do that in an outdoor space. And by the way, we can get like 5,000 nits of brightness. When you see 5,000 nits on an LED wall, it's it feels like 10 times as bright as the spec that you see on a traditional TV. So when, you, when you're dealing with a high brightness environment, like an outdoor environment, you're able to get crazy bright LEDs to combat against that high brightness, but still maintain that awesome contrast ratio that you, that you love yeah. when you see this, this display. Those blacks are just matted out, perfect blacks. Yeah. So the outdoor experience then becomes another canvas. Again, it's not doesn't have to be just a 16 by nine, right? Yeah, it doesn't have to be for media consumption. It could be, mm -hmm. you know, instead of doing a, you know, I was thinking I, I saw this concept. It was like a, you're using LED walls as your fence. Sure. You could yeah. have like a picture of a sunset that continues down to where it doesn't even look like it's an LED wall. It's just a continuation of the ocean that's out there. That's right. So yeah. when you look out, you don't see a fence, you see your LED walls, but it's projecting an image that's already close to lifelike. Yeah, and or, the, 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 the ability to just think think outside the box like has never been a more applicable slogan I think yeah. ever before than this but you know like to your point we've had customers like what what's the most expensive part of the home it's not the bricks and mortar that de that depreciates the bricks and mortar depreciate what appreciates is the land the location the view mm -hmm. like that's where the value is in the home and so we've had customers who have literally taken their their wall and extended the view, like let's just say they've got wall here, view here. Well, they take their video wall and they extend the landscape. And so they immediately like add square footage, I use that in quotes, to their home by allowing that wall to more or less disappear. But by the way, like it doesn't have to just be a view, like you can have a floating, you know, broadcast that you put wherever you take want. Take your Zoom call outside. Right. Take <laughs> Take your Zoom call outside, which is amazing yeah. if you've ever tried to do that. <laughs> like, uh, so the it's again like when you talk about the environment, you know, yes, the, you you have to very much get the the specification right because we're dealing with you know like a higher dollar type of display, but you also have to make sure that you don't you don't box yourself in in your thought process. And you think about this in terms of like a canvas, like we said in the other video, is, is this a canvas. It's not yeah. It's not just a TV you just throw up wherever you want and put it. Well, and that's important too. I mean, if you if you do want to, I mean, yeah, uh, media consumption is, you know, if you own a ball team or something like that, you probably want to see that ball team play. You're probably there at the game, but whatever. If you're into sports, if you're into, you know, you want to watch Jaws while you're out on a floaty in the pool, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, but you don't want that TV blocking your 
you know, expensive view or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, you can work with a company like Feature Automation. That's right, yeah. Or, mm -hmm. And yeah. have these on motorized lifts that go in and out. And there's all kinds of use cases. And, and that's where I think it's really important to hit on that this is not a, it can be a TV for media consumption, mm -hmm. but it, it can be used any way that you would like. Right. I had a TV on my back porch and it lasted about a year. Like it wasn't made for outdoor and, um, but we had it covered and it lasted a year. Longevity is a concern. And especially when it's going into a, a, a very challenging environment, like an outdoor environment where there's rain, there's snow, there's sun, you know, sun can be more destructive than anything. Yeah. Especially on traditional TVs, those, uh, those panels are not designed to be able to dissipate heat, but these are. These are very robust and uh, they last for years. You know, we're getting 100,000 hours on one system before it reaches its half-life. I mean, you, yeah. you could leave this thing on for 24 hours a day for a really long period of time yeah. before it reaches half brightness. Some of the biggest challenges with outdoor environments or, or other challenging environments that micro LED excels in. It yeah. becomes a strength, not a weakness. Yeah. And I know we'll touch on, you know, warranty servicing, upgrade plans for warranty um, and yeah. support and that things in another video. But there's what a, a one year warranty out of the box uh, mm -hmm. for just video walls in an outdoor setting for an outdoor. Yes, yeah. uh, but we can we indoor. can expand that if yeah. need be, you know, if that's important to your customer, you know, you guys can can obviously do that. You can expand that. That's a JVW warranty. You know, even if you have like one pixel that goes out, like the whole system isn't down. Yeah. Right, because they are modular. You can just take that one With out. The magic and use, suction use, tool. Yeah, the magic sucking tool. Exactly. Use the uh, included spares, and you have zero downtime. Yeah. Right. So you know your service is going to be key for ensuring that those customers are taken care of. Yeah, yeah. You know when that if that happens, which right. by so, the way we've we've had walls up for three years with zero dead pixels, um, which I think speaks to kind of like our quality. Well, as well. and it, I think it's one of those things too. It's like where if you have if you've ever had a dead pixel on TV, it's like there's probably not a lot of people that have experienced that if they're buying decent TVs. The quality is paramount here yeah um i mean we we interviewed 200 different offerings and led technologies and, and different cabinets and di i mean even down to the power supplies on the boards we had a customer that came in that had done one done an led from a competitor before first thing they asked us was i want to make sure i can't hear buzzing and we were like buzzing like what do you mean buzzing and he's like yeah like our other wall buzzes really loud and it's because the components that they use were cheap components and so you can certainly find some cheap walls out there with cheap components but you will pay for it at the end like yeah. you get what you pay for and we've taken the time and the effort to make sure that every component which is very critical again with the outdoor wall because it's exposed to so much more you know environmental stuff like the wind the rain and all that like those cheap components are gonna fail fast. Yeah. So you gotta make sure that you, you know, partner with a company like Video Just Video Walls that where we've taken the time to make sure that everything that goes into this is top notch. Yeah, you guys definitely know your stuff. It's apparent. I mean, this this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, we've been to a lot of shows where you see the lines in the grids and it's like, oh, you know, why would you pay that type of money to have you know that kind of experience at the end of the day but you know these look fantastic i definitely know uh, you, your passion shows through and just talking with you off camera and i uh, couldn't be more excited uh, to to start this with just video walls all right man thanks for your time yeah, on walking absolutely. us through um, on how these can be used indoors and outdoors uh, awesome today. thank you thank you all right dear media family that is a wrap to answer your question, yes, you can use micro LED technology outdoors. And here at Dream Media, we can hand curate a custom package for your specific needs and budget. There's so many things to consider with video walls. And here at Dream Media, we want to be your go-to specialist. So we're going to be releasing a series of videos 
educating our customers on all of the various things to consider as well as providing some use case scenarios. If you're interested in getting a quote, reach out today and we'll do a full blown system design for you. We start out with a video consultation to kind of assess your situation and then we'll take a deep dive into providing everything from of course the video wall to speakers, amps, processors and help you with white glove service from start to finish with project management and hands on setup and calibration. We really believe in going above and beyond to provide the ultimate experience for our customers here at Dream Media. Well, that's all I got for you. If you guys like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.